big battle going on here. Big war, rather, for uh, the conquest of Mecklenburg as well as Volgast here uh, to unite the Pomeranians under the Bohemian crown. Welcome back, everybody, to uh, what might be the most cursed campaign I have ever done here in Europa Universalis 4 in the 1356 mod. I'm having a great time. I hope you guys are as well. If you are, make sure you let me know by leaving a like on the video and uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Every uh, five episodes, as long as we maintain 500 likes per episode, we will be getting big episodes every five episodes. So episode 10 coming up here in a few days. If you want it to be double length, make sure you leave a like. I want to make sure that I'm rewarding people for, you know, engaging with me and, and you know, you scratch my back, I scratch yours sort of deal. Um, let's go with da, 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 da. Spy Network Construction is fine. Let's get some claims on you. Recall them. Might as well get a claim on you. Don't need any more. Don't need that anymore either. Let's um, make sure we are spying on these guys, though. Oh. Nani! Poland got PU'd and I missed it? Oh. oh no, that's a big deal. Oh my gosh, no! <laughs> okay, well, I see now why the Ottomans are willing to join here. This war just got a whole lot more exciting. <laughs> I swear this was not read a moment ago before I unpaused. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. All right, this is fine. <laughs> this is fine. This is fine. Uh, it's fine. Um, <laughs> goodness gracious. All right, so the Ottomans should just like pile on these guys. Assuming they're actually going to get access. Because remember, the Ottomans... Maybe my vassals will get access through Hungary. Yeah, the Ottomans will have a hard time getting into Poland if they do not... Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> they got PU'd by Poland, man. Or Poland got PU'd by Denmark. Feels real bad, man. All right, we're going to have to piece these guys out separately so we can just, you know, get on with our day here. We also have the value cannon on this stack. Do we not? Oh, my value cannon got wiped. Interesting. Okay. Well, let's make sure we get a value cannon. Very important. No point in taking attrition. Oh, we want a 7%er. Mm-hmm. <laughs> baby all right yeah i'm definitely not going to get out of this war asap i'm going to win this war handedly we're going to take your trade power all your money um let's get over here siege this down now i don't see poland going into my lands very much which is good um very good actually and meanwhile all this stuff is going down this culture conversions are going which is going to be good all right here they got access very good Whew. All right, so Poland should start getting sieged down by the Ottomans. Let's uh, tell the Ottomans to prioritize those provinces over there, and I will prioritize these provinces over here. I think we got this. I do feel pretty good about it. But dang, man. Oh, we're going to have to break that, break up that alliance network there. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That's crazy. All right, so if we wanted to, could we have them cancel their... If we 100%ed him, we could spend 200 on it. I reckon they're probably disloyal. Yeah, Poland isn't coming into my land anyways. So Poland's got 55,000 men. You know what? I'm not even going into his land. Calling the Ottomans in was probably unnecessary. Well, hmm. see, now it's getting to the point where I need to kind of be mindful of What's going on? So let's do a little bit of development up here in these provinces since this is our uh, primary culture or what we want to be our primary culture. Extra development will uh, help ensure that we are able to um, culture convert quickly. Very good. 44%. And as these provinces get culture converted over there that's gonna be much better so man gotta be careful like poland is gonna bring an army they're gonna bring the thunder on these people i guarantee you they will but yeah look at these guys they got pu'd 55,000 no manpower versus 16,000 no manpower so poland is no longer a valid rival understandably so <laughs> we're losing quite a bit of money as well though i gotta be mindful of that all right let's get our value cannon down here on this fort now, the fact that they're on it means that I do not get their um, extra siege ability. 
for my boys, but it's okay. It's not the end of the world. Now, I probably shouldn't have spent all of my mill mana, but it's okay. It's not a big deal. Ooh, look, they're making... Oh my gosh, do they have the Guns of Urban? They might. Oof. Sheesh, man. I got... This is how you know I'm a hardcore gamer. I'm playing with Lucky Nations on and a modded EU4 campaign. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We do that here. We do a little bit of self-trolling. Let's um hold on to that for ourselves, I suppose. I don't have any subjects to give to it. Give it to, rather. Get in here. Looks like they're not even really trying to defend their own land. Oh! I say zealots in Hungary, you don't say. Oh. Oh my. Oh my. Right. Okay. What about 10 years we'll be able to click this button and um, that's going to give us another center of reformation, which is awesome. And then as soon as reformed is enabled, Diplo rep and missionary strength versus heretics for the rest of the game. Very solid. So we're looting these guys over here. Um, we'll come over here, but I, I, I don't feel too good about it. Got to be mindful. Man, the Ottoman siege ticks are so good. Oh. Wait, these guys are in another war over here? Goodness. Oh my gosh, they're in a bunch of wars. Oh, who's contesting it? Who's contesting it? Hungary is contesting it. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh my gosh, man. <laughs> what is going on? This is crazy. I'm loving it. I'm absolutely loving it. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. <laughs> That's so funny. Enemy invasion, huh? Oh my gosh. Absolute just chaos. This is what I live for. Oh, Yon one I died, sadly. Absolute tragedy, but it is what it is. So, <laughs> oh my god. I'm still just in awe of the fact that Denmark viewed Poland. Poland is... Oh my god. Dude, look at this. This is before the 1444 start date. That's actually insane. England. <laughs> oh, these guys are going to get absolutely clapped, dude. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I love when, like, random chaos happens. I live for that. I'm sure you guys can appreciate that as well. Poland also just took a huge chunk out of the Livonians. Okay, admin 7? Um, I guess it would be admin 10. Um, man. That is so damn funny. All right, now, once we take Warsaw, we'll be able to piece them out and um, figure out exactly what we're going to do here. There we go. We took Warsaw. So I'm also, I'm just going to, like, occupy them as much as I can here. Prithinian Separatists, huh? Where at? Okay. Mm. Okay, they're going to end up popping over here. I'll just get my army up there to handle them. No big deal. All right. Let's win these two or siege down these two forts over here. Then you got uh, Saxony over here sieging down um, Plock. One of the best provinces in the game. Definitely top tier. Uh-oh. Stinky. Look at them, dude. They're just getting clapped in another war that has nothing to do with me. I love it. That's so funny. All right. Either way, as soon as we're done... Right. I'm going to now peace out Denmark. We have such big war score against them. They're going to... Hmm, I wonder. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. They got big trade power over here, so we're going to be collecting a lot of money from them now. That's good. Um, now, who is this? Volgast has 20, 20 ships? What? Yo, how do you got... No, 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 no. Six, three. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. These, this, those numbers were a little borked for a second there. Twenty ships, though. Goodness gracious, they got six transports. Yeah, they got a few light ships. Man, they got a lot of ships for an OPM, though. That's kind of nutty. All right, cool. So let's pop all of our ships out here and have these ones reinforce. I don't know if we win, but we do have galleys. There you go. Now, we need to get on to their capital here, because we're going to need to siege them down so we can piece them out separately. Let's get a general. Six maneuvers, pretty good. All right, very good. These guys just need a couple more months, and we will be good there. That is so funny, man. 
I'm like just in awe at the chaos that's going on in this campaign. There we go. So we got our galley fleet here. Yep, we're solid. All right. Carl Reine. So I don't know if you guys do the guttural R there in Czechia. Right, I think we can speed five the rest of this war. I'm going to full annex them and then full annex these guys. Just removing as many tags as possible. Can't join a coalition against me if they, uh, they don't exist. Isn't that right, boys? Isn't that right? Sink some ships here. They got 15 ships, bro. That's crazy. They got nine galleys. Give them a repair tick there. Pop them back out. There we go. Sink as many ships as possible. Maybe even steal a ship or two. Psych. We got 13 galleys popping up there. All right. Very good. So we're going to annex you and full annex you. Coalition. Yeah, we're going to have to wait some time. Either that... Or we diplomatically isolate these guys. Yeah, that's reasonable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. Nice short truce with them. But I don't... More importantly, I'm not taking any land from them. Then these guys get full annexed. Coalition? Mm, maybe. Maybe, maybe. Let's see here. Let's do some improved relations with a couple of people. Um, sure, let's get like some claims up here on them. Even more, actually. Um... Incurring some favors with the auto derps. All right. Who, who's going to be interested in joining a coalition against me? Because we need to improve relations with them. Beirut will not. Verden and Hamburg would, though. So what we need to do is improve our relations with these guys. Verden. Like, the OPMs I don't care so much about. But still, it's like if I can prevent it, I will. You know? There's no benefit to having them in a coalition against us. Uh, they do still have an army running around somewhere. Where? I do not what know. Alright, I'm going to be getting a... I'm going to be um, ahead of time on tech, so no point in taking it super far. Wait for the yearly tick, and then we'll take it then. Just need to improve my relations with these guys. Make sure that it's like, you know, however much war score we're going to be taking here, or... Or AE, I'll show you guys. So 35 AE. So as long as these guys have, you know, 25 to 30 plus relations, they shouldn't be able to join a coalition. Like you can see Hamburg, they're no longer on the list. So I'll go one more month. Give them a little extra monthly tick there. And then who else are we worrying about? Brunswick and Goslar. So Brunswick is actually pretty beefy. They could join and they probably will, to be honest with you, because I'm not going to be able to wait that long. We do have call for pizza. So a little bit of war exhaustion is going to start sticking up, ticking up here. Let's make sure we take the techs. And, um... Oh, we're so close, actually. As soon as we finish these culture conversions, we can probably culture shift. That's incredible. Let's see here. Is there any more that we can get started? Let's do it. Why not? We're going to go extinct here. The checks are going to just fully convert their, their culture. All right, get rid of these guys here. And uh, you can see now Verden won't join. So Brunswick, Saxlonburg, Messian. So Messian is going to hate me. There's nothing I can do about them. Saxlonburg, maybe. Luneburg. These guys are actually getting pretty high on that. So as long as I'm not gaining too much. Like, I don't want it to go, like, over, like, five or so. So I'll give it a few more months. No big deal. Uh, let's see here. Um, Lubeck. Lubeck probably is quite upset with me because I had that event. But I'll try to get him up at least a little bit if I can. What's your culture here? You're not Pomeranian. Lower Saxon. Hmm? Ooh, each when each nation reaches Miltech 13, all associated early siege modifiers will be removed. Uh, will also become unavailable. Nations who introduce an invention will retain their introduced invention modifier until its explorations. Nations who did not previously use siege weapons will lose their bonuses for not having one. Okay, sounds good. I appreciate that flavor. I think that's good. All right, so we have an unconditional surrender. That means the call for pizza is about to start stacking up real hefty. All right. So, all right, let's recall you. Coalition is not going to form. I'm not worried about it. All right, very good. Now, this is all Pomeranian culture, so I do not want to yoink the dev. I want that development there. Uh, we will core you up. And just like that, as soon as we finish this conversion, or eh, maybe, I think it'll be pretty close. 
we have become a great power as well. How poetic. All right. Let's have you guys suppressed over here. Invite a great thinker. Sounds good. What do we need here? Let's go with a... We're going to go with a mill idea group. So let's go with a military idea group. Or military advisor. And uh, let's go with a... Oof. Can I get an army... What is it called here? Quartermaster? No. What are these guys called? Land force limit? No. I want land maintenance. Yes. Exceptional grand captain. All right. Very good. He's only three ducats a month. Super reasonable. I don't have any unrest to speak of right now. We have no devastation that I'm aware of. None. So we can turn off every fort. Absolutely. A little bit of money for innovativeness. And now we definitely need to be uh, mindful about our uh, mana. Or our money, rather. Let's go ahead. We can't embargo them. Right. We can't embargo them, though. We have small peepee. -pee. Feels bad, man. But yeah, you can see our AE map mode. So the people who are in the yellow, it means that they could join. But uh, they have... The lines crossed over them, it means that they actually can't because they have a truce. Green means they can't. At all. Alright, I guess we have to do something. There we go, making good money. Now, as soon as our rebels look like they're going to start popping again, we'll uh, be mindful of that. So this province here is about to flip. How much development? 11. Ooh, baby, there you go. Primary culture to Pomeranian. Reform into Prussia. Admin Tech 16. Ah, there it is. Okay, I was going to say, 10 seems a little early, considering the fact that we're on 10 right now. <laughs> we are almost at... Actually, take a look at this. Welcome to uh, Europe in uh, November 11th, 1444. Pretty good, right? <laughs> I love it, man. So what happened here? These guys are still in this war. Okay. Man. No matter who wins, they're going to hate each other. Oh, that's so good. Absolutely just incredible. I love that. All right. Very good. That's so good. So we got a couple technologies here. We're going to have to be... It's going to be a few years until we can form Prussia. Totally makes sense. I can't even be upset about it. We're going to let our mill mana stack up. I'm going to make sure I take this technology here because the Renaissance is going to be popping here in a couple of years. And uh, then we'll be able to start pushing through our idea group. So, so far, 1356 S-tier mod. Big fan. So, since we've also switched our culture, we can now start stating everything up as well. No reason not to. Core everything. It's going to increase our income quite a bit as well. Um, the steering we're going to be doing through there is going to be really nice. But most importantly, these provinces, the autonomy is going to start going down. Now, right. Look at that. Pomeranian culture is just slowly inching its way down, dude. <laughs> I love it. I love it so much. All right. So we do need to be getting some claims on Poland. So let's make sure we're getting some spy network on these guys. At the very least for now, <laughs> make sure that um, we can get those. Taxation. I love tax. Anybody who knows me knows I love taxation. So might as well. Those guys are maxed out. Very good. Maxed out. These guys are going to be maxed out. But the major thing is, is I don't think a coalition is going to form on the yearly tick. AE tick down will happen. And... Uh, that should be good then. You see all the, the the ones like these guys can't join anymore, so now they're green. These guys can join. These guys can't join anymore either. That's how it works. A lot of people complained about the uh, the new AE map mode. I kind of like it. It took a second to grow on me, like to figure out exactly what it meant. I think a lot of people just think like, oh, red. Red is bad. More red means more bad. But I don't know. I'll give it a chance. So Sweden over here... He's 64. The boy's thinking what I'm thinking. I'm thinking Arby's. Prestige? Sure, man. You guys don't want to royal marry me? I'll scornfully insult your rival. If it makes you feel any better. Who you rivaled to? Livonians? Eh, I would scornfully insult these guys, but I can't get any PP for it since they're, uh, there's a truce, so... This will boost up our relations with them a little bit. Totally. Oh, yeah. We're going to be able to do this. And I will send them a gift. All my money. So worth. So worth it. Um, Let's see here. Let's go with tax modifier, I think. Yeah. 
It's fine. We're making a lot of money from tax right now. Yon Hus knew the truth. Return of the Hussites. All right. So now, oh, we get the Podobrad. Let's go, dude. Okay. We get infantry combat ability, but minus one Diplo rep. Hussite King Elector in Bohemia. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Loyal to Rome. Yon Hus knew the truth. Okay, so I can either get the bonus and have the event chain happen, or just have this Yuri Podobrad go in. I think we're just gonna do that. Very good, man. Oh, five, four, three, two. All right. Allah lose a little legitimacy. Oh, he's loose lips. Feels bad, man. Oh, that's my heir. Oh, that's my heir. I don't care. Don't care. So these guys will now royal marry me. I will pu them if their leader dies here. Gustav or Carl X, Carl the tenth, Gustav. That would be pretty, uh, poggers, as the kids say. He's old, man. 64 is, like, ancient in this game, at least. All right, let's state this up as well. Yep, see, it dipped below 50 now, since we stated up all this, uh, old, uh, old Prussian or Prithinian or whatever this is. So, oof. Man, if we get a PU on Sweden, that would be pretty juicy. That'd be pretty dang juicy. Oh, son of a biscuit. They got one. Hmm. You hate to see it happen, folks. It is what it is. It was worth a try. We could save scum, but I'm not going to. <laughs> I know a lot of you filthy cheaters would. And admittedly, I probably would too if I wasn't playing for you guys to see. But uh, I will not. Alas, I'm a man of respect, self-respect. You know what? I don't think I'm going to give you any money, but what I will ask is that you give me money or manpower. Hmm. Let's just boost up our trust with them then. We're currying a lot of favors from them, so we might as well really boost up our trust with them. Plus 6.8 yearly for not giving them any. <laughs> okay, man. Sounds good. All right, cool. Let's turn that fort back off and then turn that army maintenance down. Like mostly just they'll still reinforce. So it'll just be slower over time. All right. So hungry pieced out. Cool. Our truce with these guys is going to last for a while. So no rush, no rush. Now let's see here. Oof. All right. All right, this is fine. A couple of buildings is good. A little more tax. You know, I love paying my taxes, baby. Now, we probably should build up a couple more armies since we can afford them. There we go. We have two cannons. So I did have a value cannon. I didn't even know it. Now I feel foolish. So we got 14, 1, 1. 12, 2, 1. So that'll do. Bring us up to 31k. Reasonable. Respectful, I think. Desires of the flesh. No, I hate this event. Stupid. Just pay the prestige and forget about it. Now this one. Gain some prestige and a half-off level 3 advisor. Sounds good to me, baby. Sounds good to me. Now, he's a little pricey, though. Yeah, we can totally afford that, though. Heck yeah, man. Take it. Um, so we got two half-off level 3 advisors. So solid, man. All right. Now. Yeah, until we can get tech, we're not really doing much. We're just going to be chilling in Cedar Rapids. Let's go ahead and push for this admin tech. We're going to need to do a little bit of mill development. So I need to also make sure that I'm not wasting a ton of money by having these edicts turned on. So let's turn those edicts off. Look how much extra money. It's going to get me like an extra like two ducats a month. <laughs> like one ducat a month plus. Just for being a dingus and not turning off something. Austria is looking for a PU, but he's my rival, so that's not going to happen. At least I don't think so. Plantagenet, you don't say. <laughs> okay. Being even more, make for an even more cursed uh, run, right? 
All right, very good. Keep on converting things. We're finishing up our culture conversions down here in Czechia. We can take Miltech. Um, damn, bro. Yeah, I don't think so. We'll wait. We'll wait. Uh, I'd rather develop, I think, a little bit. There we go. Now, yeah, that's fine. Now let's take a look here. I want to make sure that I'm doing the ones that get the culture adjacent bonus. We're going to culture convert everything. Why not? Why not? I love the idea of it. <laughs> I'm sure like the Czech boys watching are just like, no, why you do this? Why you do this? But uh, it's it's it has to be done. It must be done. Pomeranian Prussia. Uh, Hussite Pomeranian Prussia. Man, if you can think of a more cursed thing, go ahead and leave it in the comments down below, boys. Let me know how you're enjoying the campaign in the comments as well. Uh, leave a like if you are enjoying. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. 500 likes per episode and episode 10 is going to be double length. Uh, if you guys want to support me on my Patreon, link is in the description below, as well as the Discord, the subreddit, the Twitter. Plenty of ways you can get involved with the community if you so do choose. Um, but go ahead and check those out in the description. That's all I got for you for today, though. This is Chewy Shoot, and I will catch you guys later.